Listen, I'm sorry that this camera quality, again, is pretty crappy, but I'm having problems with my sounds slash video. I'm using my phone because this seems to work. I just give me a break, okay? Because I am trying to vlog every day for you twerps, so you don't hassle me. So here's my grainy, stupid video, and I'm also pissed, so I'm gonna launch right into a rant. So unless you guys are totally useless and worthless and don't watch my vlogs, you would know that I've been on a diet, the Somme diet. I've already lost about 15 pounds in less than a month. Link to the program is in the underbar. And basically what it is, is I have five small meals a day, and it's all natural whole foods. So vegetables, fruits, nuts, and meat. Some oils, you know, really that's about it. Just healthy ass, natural ass, good food. Now, one thing that a lot of people tend to say whenever they hear about a diet like this, they're like, oh, you know, I just, I can't, I can't afford to eat that way. That's, that's too expensive. And whenever somebody says that to me, especially to my face, I, I really have to try to use all my might that I have to not then punch them in the face. Because you, first of all, you have to stop and think about all the money you waste by going to McDonald's on your lunch break, going out to eat like twice a week. It's ridiculous how much money I'm saving by not friggin' eating a bunch of junk. I spend like less than $50 a week on my food in general. Because you have to think about it, you're, you're eating less. You're having portions that are sensible and good for weight loss. So if you're having about four ounces of meat per meal, that's like one T-bone steak for the entire day, or one chicken breast. The most expensive thing that I buy is a bag of shrimp. And yeah, that can be like $10, but it lasts me over a week. So I just, I'm sorry, I don't buy that excuse. And a lot of people say, you know, I, I have a family, so I can't really afford to be spending that much on food on myself. And it's like, well, why not? Like, why do you have to get special food for your family only? Like, is it really that imperative that your kids have that box of Twinkies? Give them an apple. It's so much less expensive eating this way, and it's just, I, I get really frustrated that people use that as an excuse. Again, you gotta you gotta look at inside yourself and you gotta find the oomph to go ahead and make these changes. And if you don't, and if you wanna keep finding excuses like that, then, you know, if you don't change anything, nothing's gonna change. I also have a gripe about people that say, you know, you don't have to make all those changes, you can eat whatever you want, just you, you can only have a little bit. And that just doesn't make sense. If people get to the point, like I am, you get to the point where you're like 100 pounds overweight, then I don't think that having a box of cookies in the house, saying it's okay, you can have those cookies, just only have one or two of them. You really think I would only have one or two cookies? I'm sure sometimes or even most times I'd be able to do it, but otherwise it's just a convenient food to have laying around to binge on and fail. And I say that because I've actually gotten a lot of comments that are like, you know, you don't have to go on a diet like this. You don't have to go on a diet. You just have to make X and X changes. And I, I just don't buy that because when you have a significant amount of weight to lose, obviously the way that I'm eating while I'm losing weight is going to be different than how I'm going to be eating when I no longer need to lose weight. The idea of a weight loss plan is to have a plan that gives you a stage where you lose weight and then have a kind of tran transition phase. Any sensible plan that will have something like that. If you go on like a 17 day diet, What's, what's gonna happen on day 18? So a plan like this, like a natural ass whole foods diet, is teaching me what foods should be a part of my main diet every day, no matter whether I need to lose weight or not. Now I know better exactly how many vegetables I should be having, how many fruits I should be having, a general idea of how much meat I should be having. So it's not like when the diet ends, I'm gonna be let loose into the wilderness with no idea of what to do now and then gain it all back. Plus the foods that you'll be eating on a whole foods diet is just, it's a lot more satisfying. So you just don't get the cravings and wanting to binge that maybe an overweight person typically has, or at least I know I did. There's also been some people that scoff at me because the Somme plan does not include the food. And it's like, well, how are they going to include the food? Because for, for a company to send you food, it's going to be packaged and all processed and crap. When Somme is all about like natural, fresh food, you go to the store and buy fresh. I feel like that's actually happened a couple times when people have asked me about Somme and then they're like, oh, well, does it include the food? And I'm like, no, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I'm sorry about the long rant. It's just, I don't know, these are all things I'm thinking about because I was talking to Megan Tanjas, who has also done Somme, and my other friend Megan, M is for amazing. It's weird. It was weird and confusing. They're both named Megan and it's both 
spelled the same even. The stupid spelling with like an H and an A and I can't even. I feel better now. So I wanted to remind you guys to please download my newest podcasts, check them out, and please let me know what you think. I'm gonna have all those links in the underbar and a link to subscribe to it on iTunes, okay? Bye.